Temple Basketball Above the Rim is brought to you by the Philadelphia Federal Credit Union, the official credit union of Temple University. It's a night of laughter for the players on the 2012-13 Temple men's basketball team. There's only 11 days to go before the team's opening game against Kent State, but instead of practicing their skills on the court, tonight finds the Owls practicing their smiles and stares, posing and modeling for the camera. All right, keep dribbling for about 30 more seconds. Mic check, one, two, one, two. <laughs> Young P in the building. All right, you throw it to the camera? One more. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, pass it off. There you go. Peace. There's a whole new way to meet the Temple Owls this season, and this video shoot in Annenberg Hall is the first chance for the players to make their introductions that will be seen by thousands on the brand new high definition video board in the team's home arena, the Lea Chorus Center. All right, you're on. Three, two, one. Daniel Dingle. Freshman, wait. <laughs> Nick Pendergast, sophomore. <laughs> sophomore forward, uh, Jackson, New Jersey. <laughs> the results of one night's work is a series of interactive messages, introductions, and pleas to the crowd that bring fans one step closer to knowing the players who will wear their colors this season. Khalif White, Scooty Randall, Jake O'Brien, Valera Hollis Jefferson, TJ DeLeo, Senior Guard, Senior Guard, Senior Forward, Senior Forward, Senior Forward, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. All right, good. That is a wrap. It's as good a time as any to get to know this team because it's full of new faces. Gone from the Owls are familiar names like Ramon Moore, Juan Fernandez, and Michael Eric. Which leaves seventh year Temple head coach Fran Dumphy piecing together a puzzle that will take their place. A solid backcourt should make things easier for Coach Dumphy, who hands the reins to a group of guards led by senior number one Khalif Wyatt who finished last season averaging 17 points per game. And a healthy senior guard forward number 33, Scooty Randall, a versatile two-way player who missed all of last season because of a knee injury. The Owls are without 60% of the team's offense from a year ago, but the team isn't thinking about the past. Instead, there's a feeling of closeness among the players who make up the 2012 squad. And with a collaborative conditioning effort exerted this offseason, there's a feeling of something special happening on North Broad Street. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, Chase. Come on, Chase. Come on, Chase. We'll get it. We'll get it. Let's go. You went hard, and then you finished even harder than you started. So great work. Good job. Applaud yourselves on that one. Here we go. Butterfly stretch. I'm really just trying to take it all in right now and just so I my last season. Uh, I'm sharing it with, with some of my best friends. We want to do something special this year. I mean, every year we've gone to the NCAA tournament. I hope to keep that going, and this year we just I just want to have fun, win a lot of games, and know that left it all on the court. To go out the right way, the seniors have a long climb ahead. The college basketball season is a difficult five-month journey, and for the Owls to go to a six-straight NCAA tournament, it will have to be five months of relying on one another to be successful on the court. One, two, three, together. This is our last year, so we got, you know, we don't want to 
talk bad about the previous years, but this is our last year and this is how we want to do things. And as leaders, we got to establish, you know, what we trying to do early in the season. 2013 In your senior season, you get used to a lot of lasts. And for the Owls' five seniors, tonight is their last cherry and white night. This event is the first chance for the fans to observe the players and coaches in action. And for many of those fans, it's an opportunity to see the newly renovated McGonagall Hall for the first time. Hey! Hey, listen, Will, man, a lot of cameras out here, man. Come on, man. I don't pay attention to the camera, though, man. I look away. Whatever you did to get these guys to dance like that, even the white guys look pretty nice now. Will, just pose with the camera, Will. Will, pose with the camera, Will. Will, look at the camera one time, Will. We swagging over here. Yeah, we do man. Tonight is for fun and games. But it's also a chance for togetherness. And after having fun with the fans and even a little dancing, it's a short media session where Randall reminds everyone what this team is setting out to accomplish this season. I mean, just to, and just to be successful, just for us to come together as a team and no matter where we fall at, knowing that we all strive to be the best and at the end of the day we all came together as a team so I mean I would like for us to go far but you know things is not promised so you know with this group of guys that we got here I think we can you know make history. Having the people that I have in my in my life and in my circle you know they, they kind of you know slowly but surely helped me through it but it was it was heartbreaking because I you know didn't know if I was going to be able to play again. Angela believed that with a little help she could make her flower store succeed even in a tough economy. We never doubted her for a minute. In good times and bad, count on Philadelphia Federal Credit Union. We're better honest. This is Wyatt on the wing. Jack's another one. Ha! Penetrates down the lane. Lays it off for Hollis Jefferson. Oh! Anthony Lee. He shoots. He scores! He scores! With Edgar's adjustable rate mortgage on the rise, he believed that finding the right lender could help him save extra money and provide for his family. We believed in Edgar. Philadelphia Federal Credit Union. We're better. Honest. The wait is over. Toyota Thon is on. It's the biggest sales event of the year at Team Toyota, and the one you don't want to miss. Save big on a reliable and dependable Toyota, or stretch your budget with an incredible lease deal, or save even more with 0% financing. Plus, every new Toyota comes standard with Toyota Care. Great deals, great selection, Toyota Thon is on. Hurry in today and you'll be singing. Team Toyota, I'm part of the team. That's going to do it. Our final score here in Nashville, Tennessee, 58-44 will be the number for South Florida over the Temple Owls, eliminating Temple here in the NCAA tournament. A very disappointing end to the 2012 season for Temple. Just knowing that plays in that game, I knew that I could have made for my team and Knowing that we had a chance to win, but we, you know, just just didn't capture the opportunity. And sometimes I put the pressure on myself that I could have helped those guys go further if I'd have came back. But I had to make a decision that's best for me. So I think just knowing all those things, and you know, they started to go across my mind as the time wound down. The final seconds of the Owls' tournament loss to South Florida were the conclusion of one of the most tumultuous years 
of Scooty Randall's life. Randall was left sitting helplessly on the bench as he watched some of his best friends play their final games in Temple uniforms. And it was that helpless feeling that became all too familiar for Randall in his last two seasons as an Owl. My first injury occurred in a Richmond game, which was a, a fractured bone in my right foot, on the side of my right foot. So, and then my second injury was like um, I strutted my lateral meniscus. So uh, that was something that I still to this day don't know how it occurred, but you know, I guess things happen. And when things happen, resilient people make the best of a bad situation. So Randall traded in his basketball for a medicine ball. You always think to yourself, like, why me? But, you know, I have people in my corner, great people telling me that things happen for a reason. So I think, uh, I think in my mind, I, it was going through my mind, like, you know, you know, why me? And, you know, what could, I, what could I have done to prevent this? Having the people that I have in my in my life and in my circle, you know, it, they kind of, you know, slowly but surely helped me through it. But it was it was heartbreaking because I, you know, didn't know if I was going to be able to play again. Your love and passion for the game is like you got to do what you got to do and. You know, having all my teammates there pushing me, like, you know, you know, go do your rehab. You don't got to worry about this and that and the third. So I think those 20 months were, they, and it was a tough 20 months, but I think they was the best 20 months of my life. During the months of repetitive rehab, Randall could set his sights on his return. But the one thing he couldn't avoid seeing was his teammates on the court day after day. But all he could do was sit and watch. I think that might have been the toughest part, knowing, knowing that I want to come back, knowing that I want to be there to support those guys, but I can't. And I think, uh, you know, I think as a leader, you grow to understand that, you know, as Coach Dump says, it's not about you. So a lot of the times when I'm out there practicing, it do go through my mind, like, you know, what am I out here practicing for? I can't play. But to see those guys go out there and work hard every day, I think, you know, by me going out there and pushing myself to do as much as I possibly can for those guys, even though I was still hurt, I think it was a success to those guys, not only myself. And that's, that's how I had to think about it each and every day. Randall's sense of responsibility for his younger teammates is one of the leadership traits he picked up in part from former teammate Ramon Moore. The two developed chemistry on the court, but it's been the relationship forged with more off the court that Randall takes with him every day. It's a brotherhood that we established from AAU before I even got here. You know, him being at Temple a year ahead of me and uh, him just telling me that how it was before I even got here and me sometimes taking his advice, sometimes not. I mean, it's just, it's a relationship that I, you know, I wouldn't take for granted, you know, any time. And I think uh, he's been there for me through ups and downs. And I think he, you know, continue to do this well. After nearly 20 months removed from playing the game he loves, Randall is finally healthy. And as the 2012-13 season is nearly ready to begin, the moment he takes the court for the first time will be worth every moment his injuries took away. People go through this all the time. You know, if you don't do it, you're not gonna get better. So I think I told myself and, and I overcame, you know, that that statement and I had to go in each and every day, you know, wanting to do what I needed to do to get back. So I think after a while, it wasn't no doubt in my mind that this is what I wanted to do. Randall's 20-month wait culminates this afternoon. Temple is just minutes away from opening its season on the road against the Kent State Golden Flashes. And after all the waiting and all the hard work, this is Randall's moment to take in. And he turns that moment into a day he may never forget.
Welcome to the Memorial Athletic and Convocation Center in Kent, Ohio, as Temple Basketball opens another season as the Owls take on the golden flashes of Kent State University. Larry Scarato will throw it up between Henniger and Lee, and the tip is controlled by the Golden Flashes. KSU! KSU! Rebound, Wyatt has it, and Wyatt puts it on the floor in transition to Randall. Randall ahead of the pack, now dribbles. Little fadeaway bank by Scooty Randall. His first two points in more than a year, and it's 5-4 Temple. Cummings in transition ahead, Scooty with the slam dunk. Scooty Randall and a good feed from Will Cummings. Scooty's got four. There's Tab to put it up. Blocked by Alice Jefferson. Pepper has it out near half court. In transition, Randall steps back. Fires a three. He's got it. That's his third tray, and Scooty is unconscious. Randall's 7 for 10 performance in the first half is a nice start for the swingman. But as Kent State is able to pull even with the Owls in the second, it's Scooty who answers the call with back-to-back -back buckets to put Temple ahead for good and set a new career high with 31 points in his first game back. I have picked up by Brewer. Wyatt between the circles, holds and goes to Randall, right wing. Randall will fire a three, he got another one. 52-46. Now here's Wyatt, pump fake, and gets it back to Hollis Jefferson. Spins down the lane, good luck to Anthony Lee who with the uh, pass converts the slam dunk. And uh, that's it. The Owls open up the season with an 80 to 66 win over the Golden Flashes of Kent State. Leadership wears a lot of different costumes, and uh, making big shots at big times is one of those. Getting a great rebound. Uh, you know, there, there's a lot of really good things that come out of leadership. It's not always with your mouth, it's with your body as well. And I thought he did a great job with that today. I'm Emily, and Sony chose me from thousands of photographers to be Taylor Swift's personal photographer. Then I was given a Sony NEX to capture it all. When we're out on the road, it's great to have a camera that has Wi-Fi so I can upload the pictures straight to the web. And the quality is just like my big DSLR, so the photos look amazing. This is the chance of a lifetime, and this camera is perfect for capturing every moment of it. I love this town. I was born two blocks from here. I was raised here, and I went to school here. When I became a lawyer over 20 years ago, there was no doubt where I'd practice. I wanted to make a difference here. That's why I started My Philly Lawyer. I'm Dean Weitzman. If you're ever injured in an accident, I'll stand by you, I'll fight for you, and I'll get you the compensation you deserve. Go to MyPhillyLawyer.com or call us at 215-227-2727 when winning matters most. The human body is an amazing display of coordinated movement. Wouldn't it be nice if healthcare could be well coordinated too? At Independence Blue Cross, we're making it happen. Independence Blue Cross, changing the game. Fieldhouse Sports and Beer Hall, Center City, the official Game Watch headquarters of Temple Owls Basketball. Stop in this Saturday for a viewing party as Temple takes on Duke. The home opener follows the Owls' emotional win over Kent State. And in a matchup with the other Owls of Rice University, it's the home team that prevails in the Battle of the Birds of Night. Temple's next matchup comes eight days later against a Delaware team that gave the Owls quite a run last season. Temple escaped the first eight with a three-point victory last year. But now it's the Blue Hens making the trip up I-95 to North Philadelphia. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Temple Basketball today at the Leah Chorus Center as the Owls get ready to meet the Blue Hens of the University of Delaware. Delaware arrives a confident team, despite being down two starters. And while Temple jumps out to an early first-half lead, the Blue Hens stay within striking distance. Right of the circle to Wyatt. Wyatt's double team for a moment, now just Rogers. Oh, he's going to try to break him down. No, instead he pulls up for a three and hit his second one. Six points for Khalif, 17-11 Temple. Down low, Higgins, back to the basket, fronts up on Anthony Lee. Spins in the lane, up with the shot, it's good. Nice soft little jump hook with his left hand. 
Five-point game again, 22-17. Basketball is a game of momentum, often created by runs. But after Delaware cut a tempo lead from 10 to 4 before the end of the half, Khalif Wyatt had one more chance to make a play to stop their momentum before heading into the locker room. Wyatt guarded by Baptiste with six, crosses over with five, pulls back out, dribbles, Randall's open with one second left. Three-pointer Scooty Randall. But the Owls here at the break lead it 41-24 over Delaware. Randall's three at the end of the first half is a building block for the Owls, whose lead would be built as high as 14 in the last 20 minutes. But in a game full of runs, the Blue Hens make one more push to get back in the contest. Higgins, 15 feet out on the right, backs in on O'Brien, still backing in, turns, fires, hits, and he's fouled. It's a two-point game, and Higgins can make it a one-point game. Wyatt dribbles on the side court, over to Pepper, he'll fire a three, it's good, Dalton Pepper. The shot at the horn is no good, and it's all over. Here at the Leo Cora Center. Final score, Temple 80, Delaware 75. In the Paint is brought to you by My Philly Lawyer. Two more Temple wins over Buffalo and Wagner had the Owls undefeated early in the season. The Cherry and White are 5-0 for the first time since 1987, before every player on this roster was born. But for a team with five wins, no game is more important than its sixth. Got to talk, got to talk, got to communicate. Assistant coach Dave Duke is no stranger to Philadelphia basketball. After spending most of his life immersed in the city's hoops culture and the last 15 years as an assistant to Fran Dunphy, he has seen how much big five rivalries mean to those who've grown up in it. So there's no better scout coach to prepare the Owls for their upcoming game against Villanova. All right, red down there, white stays here. Dribble handoff, Siri. Good, there you go. That's game speed, here we go. You're not always going to get to the rim. No charge. You can throw the records out the window when you play in a big five game. I have a great deal of respect for that program. You know, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a city game too where we see a lot of these guys in, in workouts in the summer and, and so you see them, you know them pretty good. It makes the scouting report a little bit easier. Now they're going to hand off, yeah, like our green, like guard to guard, usually Hilliard, sometimes Yakubu. All right, now he's left-handed and he can really handle the ball. And Hilliard's got range, you can't go underneath. So it's really chopped ahead, but we're, we're dribbling it to Hilliard or to Bell. You can pick a side, all right? But they, they do it quick, and they change sides of the floor quick. And he's great, Hilliard, reading the defense. All right, let's, let's defend that. Gotta stay up, Jim. Got it. Pass, Will. Good pass, Will. Jimmy. Jimmy, don't stay too late on the help. Don't overhelp. All right, you overhelped and had a switch. Don't overhelp. In the paint has been brought to you by My Philly Lawyer. I love this town. I was born two blocks from here. I was raised here, and I went to school here. When I became a lawyer over 20 years ago, there was no doubt where I'd practice. I wanted to make a difference here. That's why I started My Philly Lawyer. I'm Dean Weitzman. If you're ever injured in an accident, I'll stand by you, I'll fight for you, and I'll get you the compensation you deserve. Go to MyPhillyLawyer.com or call us at 215-227-2727 when winning matters most. Philadelphia's premier Subaru dealer, Glansman Subaru, is celebrating this holiday season with the Subaru Share the Love event. Tis the season to offer you 0% financing, plus $250 will go to one of five special charities with your purchase of any new Subaru at Glansman. And our staff is committed to your 100% satisfaction. Check out our entire inventory at GetSubaru.com during our Subaru Share the Love event. Glansman Subaru, Route 611, Jenkintown. The first week of December presents one of the most difficult two-game stretches of the season for the Owls. Many eyes may be on Saturday's game against number two Duke, especially after the Owls' thrilling upset over the Blue Devils at Wells Fargo Center last season. 
78-73. It's all over. It is all over. And Temple has knocked off third drag too. But the focus in practice on Tuesday is on a team Temple sees a little more often. The Villanova Wildcats are a rival of a special kind for the Owls. In a city like Philadelphia, where college basketball means so much to the schools, the Big Five rivalries have a way of making an early season game in December feel like a late March fight for survival. Moore still dribbles, now in the lane, up with the runner, it's good! Oh, Ramon with 25! 10-point Temple lead! We, we haven't won uh, at the Pavilion since 1990. So that's uh, it's over 20 years. So we've won at home a few times, but we haven't won over there. So, so, so it make, means a great deal to us to, to try to, to survive in this game. Jared's family didn't have much money, but he believed with smart savings and the right plan, he could go to college. We helped him pass with flying colors. Philadelphia Federal Credit Union, online at betterthanmybank.com. The human body is a marvel of intertwined parts. Wouldn't it be nice if your family doctors and specialists were as perfectly connected? At Independence Blue Cross, we're making it happen. Independence Blue Cross, changing the game. Credit card debt could have gotten the best of Michael and Maria, but they believed they could pick themselves up and get back on track. So did we. In good times and bad, count on Philadelphia Federal Credit Union. Online at betterthanmybank.com. I'm Fran Dunphy, head men's basketball coach, Temple University. It's not so easy to eat healthy all the time, especially if you're always on the go. For our student athletes, it's very important to keep their bodies fueled properly with the right balance of food. This is especially true when you're involved in an exercise program. For more great health tips like this, visit the IBX Healthy Steps website. On the next episode of Temple Basketball Above the Rim, meet the newest Owls who are working their way into the rotation this season. Get inside the team's film session as they prepare for one of the most difficult weeks on the schedule. And Temple puts an undefeated record on the line against its crosstown rival, Villanova Wildcats, in a game that will add a page to the book that's had so many memorable chapters written in Philadelphia. Temple Basketball Above the Rim has been brought to you by the Philadelphia Federal Credit Union, the official credit union of Temple University.